What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I got a special video for you guys and I'm going to be sharing what's sold on Poshmark. Now as you guys know I usually combine my weekend sales and I share what's sold on eBay and on Poshmark in one video. But since I made more than 10 sales on each platform I decided to go ahead and split it up because nobody wants to sit around and watch a video for like 20 to 30 minutes nowadays. No one has that type of attention span anymore. So in this video I'm going to talk about the Poshmark mark sales and in the next video I'll share my eBay sales so it's gonna be a double upload kind of day especially since I wasn't able to go live for you guys yesterday so if you guys are interested in these kind of videos hit that like button subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's get into okay, it so for the first sale on Poshmark is this pair of Nike green plaid golf pants for women and I've been selling a ton of golf related things lately whether it's golf shoes, golf polos, golf pants, anything golf related for me has been flying off the shelves. And this one sold for about 20 bucks. I was asking 25 and they sold for 20 bucks. So not a bad offer. And these were really dope in my opinion. If these were for men, these probably would have sold even faster because men really, especially men that will play golf, they really love these type of uh, unique prints when it comes to pants. So I was very glad these sold. This is the tag, so you guys can be on the lookout for that. Any tour performance pants usually sells a lot better. But um, like I said, these sold for 20, I was asking 25 and I paid five bucks. Next up is this pair of Express Photographer dress pants. And I usually don't pick up anything from Express. I see a ton of it, but I don't usually pick up mall brands. But lately I've been starting to uh, just test it out a little more, just see if it's actually selling and as long as it's brand new with tags I'll give it a shot and these pants sat in my inventory for maybe two to three months before it actually did sell but they finally sold for 25 bucks and that was my original asking price so I was very glad that it just sold for full price and I had these uh, when I picked these up I paid five dollars for these pants so a decent amount of profit on a pair of brand new with tags express pants and like I said I don't usually pick up mall brands and if it wasn't brand new with tags I probably would have avoided this but like I said brand new with tags can't go wrong next up is this pair of seven for all mankind denim boot cut jeans and I picked up maybe 10 pairs of denim jeans from a, a thrift store and it was like a dollar or two dollars each pair of pants so I picked up all as, as many as I could some were seven for all mankind and some were lucky brand and these sold for 15 bucks I was asking 19 and since I only picked these up for a dollar I mean that's a decent amount of profit for me so I still have a few left in the inventory, but like I said, can, you really can't go wrong if you're picking jeans up for a dollar. Next up is a pair of Adidas Pure Boost running shoes, and these were in really good condition. I picked these up for about seven or eight dollars, and I was rocking these to the gym for a few weeks, and then I decided to throw them in the washing machine, get them nice and clean again, and then I flipped them for 35. I was asking 39, got a best offer of 35, and went ahead and accepted that. So you guys know how I go. Anytime I find sneakers in my size, before I sell it, I usually do hold on to them for at least a couple weeks. Next up is another pair of jeans that I picked up for a dollar from one of my local thrift stores. And this is the brand Macadenum. I don't find this brand often, but it's one of those, I guess, mid-level brands that sell for a decent amount of profit. And I was originally asking $29 for these, but I had these in the inventory for a while, just like the others. So once I got an offer for 20 bucks, I went ahead and accepted that. But if you guys come across Mac Denim jeans, definitely pick it up. It doesn't sell for a ton of profit, but the skinny jeans at least, I believe this is the Darjeeling cigarette cut, at least these sell for a decent amount of profit. So if you guys pick these up, and probably hold on to them maybe fourth quarter when jeans are selling a lot better you will probably make more than 20 bucks for these mac denim jeans next up is this pair of ugg dakota slippers and this also came from that ugg outlet haul and i picked these up for i think 17 or 18 dollars a piece and i was asking 49 bucks for these and these ended up selling for 40 bucks and i have a ton of uggs in size five five and a half six and those sizes are a little harder to move, but these are actually still selling at a relatively decent pace for me. I knew this was gonna be a long-term investment, but I, but I figured doubling my money every time these sell is a good amount of profit for me. So if you guys come across Uggs, of course, pick it up. There's a used market for this as well, so even if you get these used, you can still sell it for a decent amount of profit. And I'm pretty sure once fourth quarter rolls around, I'll be making way more profit for these shoes and they'll be selling a lot faster. Next up is this Lululemon Gym 
gym bag and this was in really good condition. I had this in the inventory for a while, I just did not list it uh, for no particular reason. I just had it sitting there but when I finally did list it, it sold within a couple of days and I picked this bag up for I think 3 or $4. It was in the thrift store and they didn't see the little lemon tags on there so they just priced it as a regular bag next up is this pair of Cole Haan loafers and these were for women and I had these in the inventory for a very long time at least six at least six months and I was beginning to think I probably should just go ahead and either try to sell these at a place like Crossroads or Buffalo Exchange like I usually do but I tried one time and they didn't take it so I ended up bringing it back but usually anytime I go to Crossroads or Buffalo Exchange and they don't accept my item the first time, I might go back again and if it's a different worker, they'll go ahead and accept it. But this time I decided to hold on to these for no particular reason and I'm glad I did because they finally did sell for 29 bucks and I purchased these for $5 from a Goodwill. So Cole Haan loafers still sell for a decent amount of profit. This particular pair just took a very long time to sell. Next up is this pair of Nike Air Max 98s and I actually just listed these as, as the wrong year but these are actually Air Max 98s and when I had these I purchased these from a, a Buffalo Exchange out in LA maybe five or six months ago and I had that in a Goodwill and I had that in a haul video I just don't remember which one it was but I was wearing these for a while but Air Max 98s aren't really comfortable for me so I decided to let these go and these ended up selling the same day for 64 bucks and I was originally asking 69 but as you guys can see these did have a bunch of stains on the midsole and I couldn't get those stains out so I just went ahead and accepted that 69 bucks especially since it sold within the same day so if you guys come across any Air Max 98s in any particular colorway definitely pick it up because it usually does sell uh, in, a, in a decent amount of time especially for me next up is this Ariat vest and as you guys know I shared this last week in one of my live thrift hauls and this one was in really good condition no flaws whatsoever and I listed this for 29 and it sold the next day for 29 bucks so if you guys come across anything from Ariat especially their cowboy boots definitely pick those up but I usually do sell jackets and vests from Ariat for a decent amount of profit as well and I picked this vest up for I think four bucks from Goodwill. Next is this pair of Wrangler shorts and these were brand new with the tags and I purchased about 10 or 11 pairs of Wrangler shorts from Goodwill one day and as you guys know they get a Goodwill gets a ton of stuff from Target so these shorts came from Target brand new and I listed them all on Poshmark and I spent a decent amount of profit I spent a decent amount of money on these but I made a decent amount of profit as well because I purchased each pair of shorts for I think three bucks and some of these shorts sold anywhere from 12 to 20 bucks for me so if you guys come across Wrangler shorts definitely pick it up especially if you get it for a decent price but just don't expect a ton of profit the good thing was was that I was able to buy a bunch of these at one time next is this pair of Ugg slippers and I had a ton of these in the inventory and I still have quite a few and this was the last size five and a half that I had in stock and these sold for 45 bucks and if you guys follow the channel you know I purchased a bunch of Ugg shoes um, I purchased maybe 80 pairs of Uggs over the past couple of months I've been buying a lot of stuff from that Ugg outlet mainly because I'm trying to just break away from Goodwill because you can't put you can't put all of your money in Goodwill and you can't basically run a business solely depending on flipping stuff from Goodwill and I'm just trying to branch out and do different things and this Ugg outlet haul has definitely paid out for me so far so if you guys just if you find used Uggs definitely still pick it up because there's a market for that as well but these Uggs I purchased these for I think $17 a piece so make so selling these for 45 is still definitely a good amount of profit for me and last but not least in terms of Poshmark sales is this pair of Nike golf shoes and I purchased these last week from a Marshalls and I haven't been doing a ton of pickups from Marshalls but I'm starting to go a little more often because you really never know what you'll find when you go there and I purchased a, a few of these I think I got four pairs of these and two pairs of other golf shoes and since golf is in season and people are picking these up I decided to you know just spend the money I think they were 30 bucks a piece I had these listed for 69 and I got a best offer of 60 so I went ahead and accepted that just to get the ball rolling so I made some decent profit not a, not a ton but they sold within a few days so this was definitely worth uh, that $30 investment so hopefully the rest of these sell pretty quickly 
And if you guys uh, have a Marshalls in your area, definitely source there as well because places like Marshalls, Ross, Burlington, uh, all of those type of places are really good places to source, especially if you're Goodwills and uh, other thrift stores aren't, aren't carrying any good inventory. All right, y'all, that's all I have for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in selling things on eBay, check out my Patreon page because I'm doing an eBay 101 series where I'm just showing you guys how to get started and how to build your eBay business. So if you guys are interested in that, check out my Patreon page. I'll put a link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.